Yeah, your team is all about your team, man. Like, your team is very important. The people you place around you, you know what I mean? Because they can motivate you. They can inspire you in different ways. They don't necessarily have to have money, financial things for you. Sometimes it's just be a conversation. You know, you, you never know who, who it may come from. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, just keeping it G. Like, you know, like you said, speaking on my homeboy, Pete Pucci, he was one of the people who, who, who helped me realize that my music career was bigger than what I was doing in the streets. You know, he sat me down and was like, yo man, if you make it, we all make it. You know what I mean? Like we don't have no, we don't have nothing else to do. Like what we doing right here in the hood, this is what we're gonna do forever. Unless you give us something different to do. You know what I mean? Like you, you got you got a talent that you can go get in position and come back and give us jobs and, 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 and change all our lives. And he helped me realize that, you know, so the people around you, they got, they always get, if you got good people around you, they can always help you see some of the things you may not see. Yeah, tops. No more than about 18. <laughs> yeah, first number one record, wow. urban record, top five rhythmic record, billboard charts, um, the record gold already. It's gonna be platinum this moment. Well, it being the number one rap album and the number four album, on Billboard, I think after Rihanna and Justin Bieber and Adele, or some, I think just for your name to even be up in that category with them type of artists, you know what I mean? To me, they mega artists. You know what I mean? It's, it, it just shows the work that that me that, that I'm putting in, the work that the team putting in, CMG Epic. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, it's all about the team work too. So, okay. I mean, to me, it's just I'm just a hustler, so it's a rush to me. To me, it's a, it's a rush of, of flipping money and turning nothing into something, to seeing something from the beginning, growing to something. I get the same rush I get when I was in the street hustling. That's the, that's the thrill I get out of it, you know what I'm saying? Of course, financial gain come with it too, but I think um, just servicing that rush and thrill that you have of hustling is the reason I look to do different things. Man, it, it, it bothers, most of the time, the plane ticket costs more than the cut. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you may pay a thousand, fifteen hundred for the ticket. You know what I mean? And then you got to pay him. Uh, but, you know, it's the brand, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, it's the brand. You got to keep the brand on. The craziest thing in the DM is, I really can't tell you about it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Some of the more known of people you will know about. You know, they kind of, they get down just like everybody else, you know. They'll send you something through there, you be like, oh, sh straight up, make sure they're verified. It's really them, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, it's breaking news if they see them. <laughs> you know what I mean? But we don't do no talking. I've been getting help, you know. I've been looking around and getting help to a lot of different artists, like uh, 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 Shut Down Racket, uh, Skeptical, Becky. Yeah. <laughs> He, he put some on the down in the DM remix. Oh, yeah. So I'm lo I'm really looking to um touch bases with the UK artists. You know, I'm gonna try to reach out to them as possible while I'm at it. Yeah. Yeah.